Hello, Salem Chapel. I trust you had a Merry Christmas. You know, you may still have extended family and friends in town, or maybe they just left recently. Your kids are out of school and at home, or maybe you're by yourself enjoying some peace and quiet. Well, regardless of where you find yourself today, I wanna to provide a guide for you to reflect on this year of 2023 and celebrate what the Lord has done in your life or family. You know, a few weeks ago, our church had a discipleship celebration on Sunday night, and it was such a special time where we gathered together all of our ministries together from Salem kids to adults, and we celebrated things God had done in our lives as we've abided with Jesus. And really, my desire is that what we did that night and will do in the future with churchwide celebrations would serve as a model for what you can do personally at home with yourself or your family. So what I wanted to do is give you three questions we asked at the Discipleship Celebration Night and encourage you to take time to answer these, whether by yourself, if you have family or friends in the house, circle them all up, ask these questions of each of them, and then after you ask each question, then share what you answered for yourself with everyone else in your circle, wherever that may be. You know, these questions were shaped by our Bible reading tool, God said, I heard, I will. So when you lead yourself or your family or friends at home through these questions, I want you to take time to pray either by yourself or together and ask the Lord to help bring answers to your mind that will help you celebrate what the Lord has done and help others as well celebrate with you what he's done. So here's the first question. What are some of the things God has been saying to you through his word recently? If everyone with you is a part of Salem Chapel, this could be through Restore or in a life group, maybe a sermon from a series on Sunday mornings. If you're a teenager, maybe something that Pastor Phil said to you and thrived this fall. Or if you're a child, maybe something you've learned in Salem Kids. Or it could be something that you've heard on your own from God's word as you've walked through it at some point this year. So what are some of the things that God has been saying to you through his word recently? Think about that, get an answer, and then share that with those in your group. Now here's the second question. How has Jesus made a difference personally in your life this year? You know, when God speaks to you, the Holy Spirit will always make it personal. So ask yourself, how has Jesus made a difference personally in your life this year? No matter how small or big that might be, what comes to your mind and then share it with those that may be in your group. And here's a third question. How have you experienced God's love as you've said, I will, to what he's told you to do? You know, God desires you and me to not only hear what our Heavenly Father is saying to us and how the Holy Spirit is making that personal, but our Heavenly Father desires us to respond to what he has said with obedience. So ask yourself, how have you experienced God's love for you as you said, I will, to something he has told you to do this year? And then share that with those in your group. Salem Chapel, I pray that this time you take or have taken as you've watched this video is a time the Lord encourages you as you close out 2023 and look forward to a new year. Happy New Year.